Let's go back down to Miami. As Ray and I said, we sit here, Bob and FP, talking about the same thing kind of every night. Uh, all of a sudden, it's one inning that unravels everything for the ball club. He can't get the key hits when they need it, but hopefully it's going to turn around maybe tomorrow. Let's hope so. Well, Johnny, uh, you hope so. Tomorrow, Gio's going to have to set a good tone for the Nats. They're going to have to come out swinging against Dan Heron, a guy who has stuff that the Nats know about. He's capable of keeping it down in the zone and getting ground ball outs. But we're not talking about some of the great pitchers in baseball shutting down our ball club the last couple of days. It just looks like everybody's pressing. I mean, what Ray said is absolutely accurate. You work hard to get into account, and then you swing at a bad pitch because you're trying to do too much. And, and Ray's been there, I've been there, and it just kind of snowballs where, you know, they say hitting is contagious. Well, when you're not hitting, guys are trying to make up for the guy not hitting in front of him, then a the guy not hitting behind him, and now everybody's pressing. So the offense not looking good. The defense, once again today, reared its ugly head. And, you know, the bullpen, so, I mean, we, we need a couch and a psychiatrist right now, guys, and I think that's really all it comes down to. So, uh, yeah, Dr. Holiday, <laughs> the real Doc Holiday. I don't know if you're... Uh, having weekend hours or not, but Johnny, we may call you after this one for a little uh, advice on how to handle all of this. Uh, the Strasburg day was a little unusual. You know, we've all, we've seen the shots in the dugout of the animated conversations, often angry by Stephen with Steve McCaddy. FP, how unusual is it? for us not to see him throw one of his out pitches until the fourth inning of the ball game. Well, we talked about it extensively, his last start, about how the changeup was so good against the Phillies, and, and that's the key to his starts. Everyone talks about 95 to 98, but the changeup didn't appear until Ichiro's second at bat when he threw three in a row. And I don't know if there was frustration about the pitch calling, the sequences, the defense behind him. I don't, I don't know what was going on in the dugout, and maybe we'll find out, maybe we won't. But... I like that Steven Strasburg was fired up today. I like that he showed emotion on the mound. I don't mind that at all. And, and, and quite frankly, this team needs some of that. They need a spark. They need somebody to spark them, to inspire them. But, but right now, they're listless. And like I said during the game, they're the defending champs. You have to come play with us. We won the National League East last yeah. year, and that's the mentality you have to have as a defending champ. Come up to our level and beat us. And to me, it seems like they're trying to beat other teams. And when you're the champ, that shouldn't be the case. And there's not a lot of swagger. There's not a lot of energy. And, you know, it's early. And I do think all this is going to change. But I know for fans right now, it's frustrating. For us, it's frustrating. But for those guys... It's real frustrating, but they, they, there's some adjustments that have to be made, and, and I'm sure they're yeah. going to be made. And I, th I think it starts with the offense, guys. And, Johnny, you know this. You and I have both covered basketball a lot. When you make some shots, you got a little hop in your step at the other end of the floor. You play great defense. Baseball, you start getting some hits. Everything else kind of smooths out. So that's all we've got. Referencing basketball, we're looking for whatever we can find here to get this thing moving, and Geo has to be good tomorrow. It's going to change. I mean, I'm still not panicking. I'm still relaxed. Mike Rizzo knows what he's doing. Matt Williams knows what he's doing. If they think something should change, they're going to change it. And if they think that they need to play harder, they're going to play harder. If they think there needs to be a spark, they're going to go out and find one. Yeah. So while it's just April, it's, it, it's frustrating to watch right now because teams are really handed it to them. They're kind of pushing them around. But I, I, I'm convinced it's going to change, and I'm still convinced this is the best team in the East. All right, Johnny. For us, nothing a long watch, walk on the beach tonight cannot solve. <laughs> so with that in mind, we'll throw it back to yeah, you. I appreciate you, the thing hopefully, about... Hopefully uh, do better. I not appreciate the Doc Holiday line, but I don't have any office hours on Saturday or Sunday, for that matter. We're not surprised probably a tea time got in the way. I'm the one that needs a couch and a psychiatrist. <laughs> yeah, so. That was a pretty good line. Thank you, guys. We'll see you tomorrow.